Hi, uh, this, this is the CAT uh, 312BL. Um, if you're going to buy a CAT, one of the best excavators for farmers and contractors. Um, this is a 13 tonner with a long reach arm on it. Um, as you see, it has uh, steel protection in the front, but it doesn't have a ROPS. Um, but it's a nice uh, excavator. Um, with moderate hours on it and what to look for uh, quite a few things you need to know about excavators the main one of which is the turntable on the used machines so you need to rock rock the machine um, backwards and forwards on its tracks with the tracks lifted and the bucket on a in, uh, in the ground and uh, and just see what sort of sway it's got um, other things to look for are the um, the tracks and see how much wear they've got on them. Look underneath on your idler, uh, which is that in the front, and on on the back you have your sprockets. Um, if the sprockets are pointed, uh, then they they will need to be um, you'll you'll need to change those at some stage. Um, they should be round and you can see the plates etc and to check check all those here we have the battery department um, you've got your air filter up the top here and you've also got your radiator and you're on and off for when you want to get your batteries motivated and started so this key here is normally in that position uh, when the machine is not in use or you you're not using it for a few weeks or a month or so uh, so it doesn't drain your batteries. So your batteries are actually off when that is on the off position. When you turn it to the right, your batteries come on and then you can start the machine. Uh, coming round to the back, there's not a lot to look at here, but just look for oil leaks because your motor's underneath here. Um, and, and, and just see if there are any leaks and then look at the other side on your sprockets, etc. Um, on your on your on your other locker on the other side, uh, you've got your oil filter and your hydraulics, etc. Um, they should be in good condition, and um, if not, you might need to check check the hoses, etc., for any fr frailed hoses. Um, that's a telltale sign. Your hydraulic hoses are very important. They're, they're also expensive, so check check them for fraying and if there's any oil leaks, etc. Uh, the motor, well, that's some the motors at the back here. Um, we'll put that on another video and talk about the motor at some later stage. And apart from that, then uh, check your rams that they're nice and clean, and uh, you you've got. They're all greased up and your nipples are okay on your grease nipples. As you can see, this has got a quick hitch um, so you can interchange your buckets. Uh, at the moment, this has a, a tilt, tilt bucket and there's your hy two hydraulic hoses. It's important to be careful of these hoses, especially if you're trying to push over trees or trying to pull, pull things so they don't get caught because they're not cheap. And there we have the hydraulic systems. And as I said, this has got a very long reach, a nine meter reach, and it's probably one of the best machines for any farmer to use um, if they've got drains, waterways, culverts, or they're doing uh, tracks on hills. A very good machine. Uh, Cat in New Zealand, they very rarely have uh, engines that go on these things um, this is a turbo model but um, a very very good machine uh, there's a rock bucket that goes with this particular machine um, so as you can see uh, uh, one of the best machines to have